Hey, what's up, everybody? This is your boy, Charles Young, also known as Open Thoughts. Hey, follow me on OpenThoughts.com and Facebook and Twitter. I'll have the links in the, in the description box below. Um, so here, there's a topic I would like to talk about is God, okay? Um, and it's talking about the image of God. Now, you know, this is just to start up some conversation. I would like to hear other people's opinions, but this is how I'm seeing it now. Now, you know, I've been taught for um, as a kid, you know, we we're created in the image of God. And as I got older, I started questioning, what, you know, what do they mean by that? I've never seen God. You know, me and my friends, we don't look the same. We might have the same skin color, but we we don't look like we don't look the same and you know an image is something that i can see you know you take a picture of something you can see you can prove certain things to that if you see my parents and you see my father you would most likely say wow you're created in the image of your father but when a person says i'm god and you tell me i'm created in the image of god but you you get upset that i say i'm god why wouldn't it be saying the same exact same thing as i'm saying uh, God lives in us. God lives in me because I know my parents live in me. I know I have shared certain aspects of, of things that my parents also do. So let's think about it. What So if we don't look like God, what image can we share with him? Now, instead of saying image, I would say um, characteristics uh, of God. Now, if you go through, if you're a Bible person, you know, if we look at all these, um, characteristics of God, he's envious, he's jealous, he's happy, he's creating, he's, he's creative, you know, he's exciting, he's different, he's wow to a lot of people. Now, a lot of people don't understand is that if a person says he's God, well, let's look at that. Can we be all of these things? Like, especially when it comes to envious, let's, let's think about it. God got upset at, um, a bunch of these people because they were praising a golden statue and he tore that thing down. It can it be similar to the fact of you getting upset when your child gives all of the respect and praises to somebody else that doesn't live in the same house. You do all this stuff for them and they still show their friends more respect than they show you. It's the same thing. We share those things. If you look at children, you know, when children are growing up, you know, they don't understand the image of God. They don't know what even God looks like. They're not even thinking about God. They're thinking about being kids. You have to teach them this God concept. Now, let's just let's just think about it. When a child is sick, does he say, oh, God, please help me? Or do they say, oh, mom, please help me? Oh, dad, please help me. Oh, grandpa, please help me. Oh, grandma or auntie, uncle. These are the things that they call on. They're not taught this with this God characteristic. You know what I'm saying? I would think if God created them, he wouldn't have to. You, he wouldn't need you to teach them over and over and over in life that, oh, this is a God. You need to fear him. This is him. This is da 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 You know, I don't believe, I, I don't believe in that. And, you know, a lot of things with it is, if I say I'm created in God's image, if I say I'm a God, well, understand why I'm saying this. Can I create universes? Yes, I can. You know, there's so much proof. When we say you can't create a universe like God, well, what do you think Facebook is? What do you think YouTube is? What do you think uh, um, playing video games online like Call of Duty is? That's a universe. Think about it. Some people have one name and real and, and be an average Joe one day, and but as soon as they turn on Call of Duty, they, they are completely different. They they're now their gamer tag name and you know you know think about it you know i don't look like lady gaga so you know but she shares the same image of god i don't look like two chains outside of skin color but they say that we share the same image you know you know it really makes me think you know you know we give so much praises to something that we don't see but what about the things that we do see naturally? You know what I'm saying? When somebody gives you $5, you don't always say, oh, some do. But you don't always say, oh, thank you, God. Oh, thank God. No, you say thank you to that person, to that individual, that natural person, because God didn't come down and give it to you. That individual gave it to you. So when you're saying these, you know, uh, uh, when you're giving so much reverence to something that you've never seen, you, you start losing your natural aspect of things. You start losing... Of natural, you start losing what comes natural is us us uh, involvement with one another. You get so much, and everybody says it's a spiritual thing. I think it's more of a religious thing because if I say I'm God, you should understand what I'm saying. Because if you teach the fact that God lives within us, Christ lives within us, and a person says I am that, and you get upset and say it's blasphemous, 
why would you even teach them to say that he lives within us? If I say my mom lives within me, my dad lives within me, you would say, yes, you could see it. You could understand. You can look at the traits. You can prove it. You can go down to the doctor, get some blood samples and find out who your real parents are and understand who they are. Even if you haven't seen them, you can actually pull those records up and actually find out who that individual is. Can you do that with God? We've never seen them. They only say the only person that's seen him is Moses. And then you have to question the fact of who saw God turn his back when Jesus was on the cross. You know, I think it's just a really interesting thing. You know, we were able to have these capabilities that God has. You know, we live in this generation where people are doing these miraculous things, these amazing things. And these uh, and everybody says it's God-like capabilities. It's not God-like capabilities. It is God capabilities. You can't say a person has God-like capabilities in doing something. Would you say God has God-like capabilities? No. You, you know what I'm saying? Or would you say God has human-like capabilities? No. Even though he does. Hey, you don't understand it. But if, you, if you're a person that reads really into these stories, he does. He has human capabilities. Like, think about it. If God never created a man, who would be able to tell his story? Another thing, you know, I'm thinking about it, like, if we could just think about the negative side, you know, they say God can condemn us to hell. Well, we can do that as well. We can condemn people too. We That's called judging. Oh, I think you can't do this thing. That's a God-like capability. That's the, something that he shares. You know what I'm saying? free will you can give a person individual free will to do certain things now everybody says free will comes with consequence but why would you have a god that gives us free will and it comes with consequences and not just just the consequences of making that decision but you're gonna die and burn you know so but you can have those you know same capabilities you can tell your kid i, I want you to run across that street that they would be equivalent to saying i want you to run across that street and so when your child takes his free will to run across the street you whoop his ass that's the same similarity as god and and us as humans you know what i'm saying we we have all these capabilities and people need to stay open their box and you know this is also to create thought you know think you know what i'm saying open thoughts you know what i'm saying we have to understand to really look at these things in a higher sense than, than what we've been taught in religion so my thing is to you if we're created in the image of god what image is that if we have never seen them before so a hey, um my name's Charles Young. I would love to touch on this. I'm, you know, I'm gonna keep posting this. I want everybody to start challenging. Come on, challenge me. Think, you know, let's think. You know what I'm saying? Let's have a conversation. Let's not put this behind the wall anymore. Let's really talk about it. All right. So, my name's Charles Young. Uh, peace. Follow me on OpenThoughts.com. One more. Follow me on OpenThoughts.com. I have it all, all in the description box. All right. Peace. <laughs> <laughs> I just gonna say a lot of crazy shit.